Most folks in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living and retirement worth having. When I'm sitting underneath a shade, if you will, on a hot, blistery day, I'm looking for nothing from people. I do occasionally have wonderful people come up and want to talk and have an interesting conversation, but most of the time, I'm sitting here at peace. If I'm walking, I'm usually talking, and then, of course, I run into my quackers, which I like to uh, uh, make fun of, or the geese who sort of hunt me down and try to find and see if I have any crackers. And I like to encourage people to try to make uh, some onomatopoeia with them, but we'll talk about that later. Today, I was literally driven upon by a van with a couple in it who alleged that they were Christian. And so when I say that, it's the way that they approach, that they wanted to offer me a plastic bag. And I'll show you what that plastic bag is. That plastic bag looks like this. And it's sort of the standard thing that people think is the right thing to give people. I can tell you that in a time of COVID, it's the wrong thing to give people. And here's why. Almost everything in this bag is allergen laden for a person like me. I have peeked through the bag carefully and very carefully because sometimes packages can be laced with something that can come off as a residue on your hands when you're sweating. In other words, they leave it on the package and then they let it dry and then it becomes a problem. Human trafficking in the alleged Christian world is sort of coming on the rise. People who are trying to harm others, people who want to be in control of others, they do those sorts of things. But you can see it's got a bottle of water, which is not practical for someone who is homeless because someone will always try to open that bottle and then put it in a bag because they're forgetting what they're doing when they're stuffing these bags. There's a peanut butter bar in there, which I can't eat. I'm allergic to. I'm allergic to the oils in peanut butter I've discovered late in my life. And I'm highly allergic to chocolate. And as much as I like chocolate, as much as I value what it can do for my body, I particularly don't care to eat chocolate. Then there's a box of raisins, which usually will be not even completely full in these bags, which means someone already plucked some out of them or has opened the box. Now, this uh, batch of ramen is something, of course, I love this company, but the reality is, where am I going to get the hot water? So the whole bag is rather impractical and somewhat insulting, and then, of course, inside there, there's some applesauce. The challenge of applesauce on a hot day is that it can go bad fairly quickly. Now, I'm not making fun of these people per se, but I am saying it was a total risk for them to try to deliver it to me and a total risk for me to try and accept it. But I wanted to show you what people like to do. They also like to add these marvelous little pages inside here that are sort of insulting to people who are educated like me. And inside, of course, it's a list of the alleged shelters in the community, three of which are actually already closed, and a food pantry where I can allegedly go and get a daily meal, which I already know about and I purchasedly don't go there because every time I eat there I leave and I feel ill. So I've chosen not to participate in government studies on how they handle foodborne illness and other things in the food that they put forth there. You see, in life, it's these people who are trying to say, let's get them out of our shopping centers. Let's get them out of the streets. Maybe that's what they were thinking about. Probably the only practical thing they provided within that bag, which has already been pilfered out of there by me to probably be given to somebody in the ministry that I'm working on, is a $5 gift card to Subway. Now, the impracticality of it is that Subway is a bit of a hike for someone who's a walker like me. Someone who has a little bit of a knee problem, thanks to the ugliness of the police force that ripped out my ACL repair and literally did it three times in the night. But we won't talk about that right now. What I am talking about the impracticality of is that if they were going to solicit me in a parking lot where they found me, they should have tried provided me something that was right there in the neighborhood, which allows me to look more like a regular person in that community as opposed to someone who's just blowing through. Now, I'm not being inappropriate to talk about this, but in my ministry, I explain how important it is for people to have water with a little bit of sweetener and a little bit of sugar and a little bit of something in it so that people can have a little bit of lift in their blood. At the same time, I highly recommend cans because cans are far less likely to be tampered with. Very few Americans know how to produce a can top that is not perfect, meaning it's hard to put a new can top on a can of pop, which I don't recommend, but a can of iced tea and a can of lemonade are pretty normal for people like me who need to stay hydrated during the heat of the summer months and through the fall and winter months, we still need the water. Our bodies are 90% water. You know this, I'm sure, from your own seventh grade science class or health class or whatever the class that you learned that in, but openly it is something that's taught to all of us. The other thing that is openly a really nice gift is a can of chicken. A can of chicken is a protein. 
Other options would be a, a can of ham or a can of beef, and the cans of beef are a lot more expensive usually at the store, but it's something that a person can handle. It's also fairly well protected in that can because even during a time of COVID, food bought from a restaurant can have a risk, a risk of airborne illnesses or foodborne illnesses or COVID or just the plain old flu. And we have to be careful of that, me and you. Now, there's a marvelous restaurant who's always very loving and kind to me, and I'm going to post on that online about that in a little while. But I really appreciate them because I get really good quality food from them every time. Whether I'm paying for it or whether they try to comp it for me or whether they're about to time something out, I love that about them, that they care for me. And I'm so grateful to that company. And that creates loyalty. I will have a lifetime loyalty to that brand, not only for the quality of the food, but the neatness of their people and the beauty of how they care for people like me.